today we have a shop full of Vlad's Momota parts to work on. And here's one of the things I thought I could pass on. It's a really good piece of information. You want to paint a part that's carbon fiber from the factory. This is, now there's two kinds of things. There's things that have a, a fake carbon fiber skin on top. But you can see, this is a Bomoda, a very expensive motorcycle. This is a real piece of carbon fiber. You can see by the joints in it. You can see the joints. Now, and this has already got three coats of clear on it. I put those on off camera the day before. What I wanted to show is, in, and it's the technique to make this have a really beautiful finish, a world-class finish. The, the trick is, and it's a simple trick, if you look at this real close, and I wanted to just show this, Steve knows all about this, there's little tiny imperfections. Now what this is from, the little tiny, tiny dot fish eyes, what that comes from is two, two separate things. Number one, these parts are molded. In this case, I know they're vacuum bagged. I can tell by the way the material is pushed around in there. That the, the original mold that they used has a release agent. It's usually got PVA and wax, mold wax. And what happens at some point in time, and it doesn't matter, on a brand new part, when you go to paint it, good luck. That wax disc is in the fibers and it's all over the place. So. We've already cleaned this part, we've already sanded it, but we still have a little bit of that issue in there. We had, a, we had a real problem with Steve's seat that was a problem. Well, the only way I know of to really truly get rid of this, and it's about, a, it's about as simple as can be, is you've got to take some sandpaper, and it doesn't matter, 600, 1,000, whatever, and a lot of people, by the way, after three coats of clear, I mean, we've got probably a quarter clear on. There's four of these, three or four of these parts. You really, you want to get a nice finish, but I want to have the finish that when it's buffed out, it's perfect. And it's not going to be perfect unless I go through this step. Now this step, and believe me, there's a lot of people would love to have that finish. They'd say, oh yeah, that's great. I'll just use that. Well. Like everything in the world of uh, refinishing uh, antiques and motorcycles and everything, there's just no substitute for a lot of hours of hand labor and more clear. So the first thing we want to do is I got to get this finish leveled off. And I'll do one small part here. I'll do the rest off camera because it's pretty labor intensive and it does go on hour after hour after hour. It just goes on forever. But when you want something perfect, there's no substitute. Now, you can see how long it took me just to do that one little spot, but it's not enough because I can still see the little, the little imperfection. So I'm gonna basically just work my way around the part until I don't see anything that looks like a little imperfection. It'll have to be dull and flat. Now what I'll do then is and because it's not really a choice painting day today, I'm just going to try to do all the sand outs today and get the painting done on a day when it's a little bit nicer outside. And if you see one little spot on this, and it wouldn't matter. See, a lot of times the part is old, like on our restoration bikes, and it could be a painted part. And it's because the part has been waxed over and over and over and over again, and it's, it's silicone and wax just stay in there. But once I can get this whole part flat like this, and it'll probably be 20 minutes or half an hour, maybe an hour, it, it almost doesn't matter because it's got to be perfect before we go on to the next step. Now I've got, if you interpolate, figuring how long I spent to do that little area, I've got to do that, 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 probably eight, ten more times. But look at this, and if you see the difference, if you see what that finish looks like, and that's fine, 90% of the people again would love that. But this is, when I spray the clear on this part here, and it has no imperfections at all in it, it'll be just an absolute jewel a piece of a, of a finish on it. And that's what I hope is going to be when we finish with this Bomoda project. This is going to be a real labor-intensive project, and we really would like to, to have it come out 
absolutely perfect, but it's not gonna be perfect if we skip any of these steps. So I'm just passing on little information, little tips that I think uh, you, know, you can use, and well, even if you don't use them, you can appreciate a high quality finish.